Look at this. What a mess. I don't even know where to begin. As you can see, we've got quite the mess on our hands. Let's see if we can address every one of these common wiring mistakes by the end of the video. Starting off with reverse polarity. This is where the wires were put on the wrong side of the outlet. The screws on the side are color coded to dictate which wires go where. The gold colored screws, that's where the black or hot wires go. The silver colored screws, that's where the white or neutral wires go. You always want to have this the right way around. Not only is reverse polarity less safe, but some devices might not work when plugged in. Next common mistake is backstabbing. On the back of an outlet are holes where you can simply push a straight wire into rather than going around the screw. This may be very easy to do, but is known to cause a lot of problems in the future. Backstabbing is generally a weaker connection. The wire, for instance, may snap off and even cause a fire. The safer and more robust option is to just hook around the screw. This can save you a lot of frustration in the future. The ground wire isn't even connected. Oh, the hot wire just came off. The third mistake is putting the shepherd's hook on backwards. You should always put the hook on so that it wraps clockwise around the screw. For a counterclockwise hook, turning the screw can loosen the hook and the wire. That's obviously not good. But the opposite is true for a correct clockwise hook. As you are screwing down, the screw is grabbing the wire and wrapping it around even tighter. The next mistake is stripping off the wrong amount of insulation. There's two parts to this. Stripping off too much leaves metal exposed. That increases the risk of a wire touching something inside the box it's not supposed to, and it could short out. Meanwhile, stripping off too little, you have the opposite problem. This hook, for instance, doesn't have enough insulation stripped off. You might be able to see that the screw is hardly touching the metal. Now the correct amount to strip off is approximately three-fourths of an inch. This is the perfect length for wrapping a hook around the screw. The last mistake is trying to put too many wires on one screw. The screws are only designed to take a single wire. Any more is trouble waiting to happen. If you need more connections, you must condense the wires into a single wire before going into the outlet, also called a piggy tail. You do have another option. You can use one of these fancy outlets with a pressure plate design. These improved outlets only cost a little more than the cheaper outlets. I would spend a little bit extra and buy the upgraded outlets. These commercial grade outlets have pressure plates and they are easier to install. The wires simply go in the holes and the screw locks it down. As you can see in this style, it actually has two holes per screw. So if you needed more connections, this is what you could use. Remember to insert the wire between the two plates, never under the screw. That looks much better, unlike that one from before. Just make sure everything is connected and no metal is sticking out. Screw the outlet on straight. Put the cover plate on. Here you don't need to be very tight. Always good to test with an outlet tester. We got two lights on the right. That means everything is connected properly and we are good to go. This has been five common wiring mistakes, so you can install correctly the first time. If you would like to support us, give us a like and press the subscribe button.